Hey guys, okay. what is up? It is Nixium here, and I'm okay. back with another exciting video. And today, we are going to put on the Lovecraftian goggles, and we are going to delve deep beneath okay. the oceans of Azeroth, and we are going to talk about Nazoth, okay. the old god, and the future of World of Warcraft, and where the game is going, and a possible future expansion that we might be seeing on the horizon. Yeah, I hope so. I recorded now, this video prior to the, what is this here? Oh, I think this is the uh, the cinematic, so I recorded it before the cinematic, all right? Everything that I'm about to say is just speculation. Yeah, it's duh. just an idea. You guys can add to it. You guys can take away from it. If you okay. don't like what I'm about to say, we're just theory crafting, man, and we're getting hyped for what the next WoW expansion is going to be and okay. where the story is going to go from here. So let's talk about okay. the future of World of Warcraft. So okay. if you guys haven't seen the recent 8.2 Azara death scene cinematic thing, pretty much, spoilers, Nazoth breaks free of his prison. Azara has Surprise, manipulated things right from the beginning. She has used the Horde and the Alliance to empower the heart of Azeroth, which was then used to break the old god Nazoth out of his prison. And guess what? Azara, she wins. She succeeds yeah, it sounds like in a bad everything time. that she is trying to do. Over the course of the raid, Nazoth is freed from his deep underwater prison, and well, okay. we're kind of screwed. Now, here's okay. the interesting thing about Nazoth as a character. We don't know all that much about him. Everything that we've learned so far about this we know old he's god an asshole. has been through hints That's about or it. references or something. We know that he had a hand in the creation okay. of the Emerald Nightmare. We know that he's Wait, the what? one that corrupted the Naga. Oh, we know yeah, that yeah. He had big plans throughout the events of Cataclysm where he tried to bring about the Hour of Twilight. But we've never actually confronted this old god before. He's always been somebody working in the shadows. And I think that makes him one of World of Warcraft's most interesting villains, at okay. least in my opinion. However, what we do know from the Azara Warbringers cinematic is that Nazoth has this idea of bringing back the Black Empire. Now, if you've ever read the Warcraft Chronicle, pretty much the Black Empire That's the Black was Empire, the, I think, right? the lands of the old gods prior to the Titans arriving on Azeroth and defeating them and imprisoning them. So it's it's them. a bad time. Nazoth obviously wants his power back. He wants his authority back over the world. And well, okay. judging by the Azara cinematic, he seems to want to use Azara like a pawn and whoever else he can use like a pawn to bring about this goal of his. So I think that it's safe to say that we have a lot of tentacles coming for us in our future. Whoa, it's going to be a, like a godforsaken hentai episode, man. There are going to be tentacles over here. That's a stretch here, right there. Holy shit. Over there. It's going to be absolutely delicious. The Rule 34 is going to be incredible. Wait, whoa. I can't wait. I whoa, like to think whoa. that it's most likely going to be a worldwide threat whoa, sort relax. of thing. Where all of the forces of Azeroth are probably going to have to band together okay. to defeat Nazoth, including people that we wouldn't expect to have on our side, like Bolvar's Scourge up in Northrend. There's and the no reason way why I dude. say that the whole world is probably Th there's no way they're going to make the Scourge, but like if, if they put that, that's like a certain point where like the game has already had like certain rules that it's created, and one of those rules is the fact that the Scourge are the bad guys. And I can't say it's like, oh yeah, we're gonna work side by side with a fucking ghoul and a skeleton. That's too much. That's too fucking much, Blizzard. Don't do that. Gonna have to band together to defeat Nazoth and what he's trying to create. Well, is we don't really have a really badass weapon to fight this old god with. Our artifact weapons, we you know had the power sucked out of those back in Legion, or at the end of it anyway. The okay. Heart of Azeroth, well, we're going to see what's going to happen with that thing. I mean, really, the only super OP weapon that we still have in Azeroth that maybe could be used to fight Nazoth is, unless I'm forgetting something, it's the magic golden dinner plate that the giant green oh, the pancake used against Deathwing back in Cataclysm. The pancake! I, I forgot all about thing. him. Maybe some of you lore people can tell me what happened to it, but I have no I'm pretty sure idea. we could use that thing against Nazoth. The point yeah. is, is that the tools that we used to have, these powerful artifacts and weapons that were used to fight these great threats to Azeroth, okay. we don't have them anymore. And so I think this will be a worldwide, world-influencing event kind of expansion where everybody is going to have to band together lore-wise in order okay. to defeat this old god. 
Yeah, obviously, obviously, Azara is most likely either going to be under Nazoth's full command during this expansion, and we might see her as a second raid boss down the road, or maybe they might go down a different route where, you know, Nazoth has used Azara to bring about his plans. Yeah, he probably do what he will wants. betray her because that's what evil people do. Usually, they betray their partners, and you know, whatever. Like, how is it not, like, I mean, I, I don't understand how this whole situation about Ashara, like, what the fuck did she think was going to happen? Like, I, I feel like that's, like, that's, like, the, the massive fucking big question that nobody's ever thinking about is what about the fact that she just released the old god? She's strong as fuck, though? I don't think that you heard what I said. I said that she released the old god. Okay? Like, what the fuck are you talking Oh, she's really powerful. Oh, wow. Wow, she's so powerful. No, she's not. Not compared to an old god. She was going to marry a Sargeras. Yeah, she wanted to be queen again. No, it, it's, not, it's not even close. All right, analysis of Trump Palace Cinematic. Okay, she thought she was going to die. Yeah, I mean, I can see why. I mean, come on. Okay, I don't think she's dumb. She must have done it for a reason. She's not dumb, really? Like, the entire storyline of 8.2 is dumb. Like, in a lot of ways, right? I, I mean, I I'm sorry, but I feel like it's a little bit ridiculous. That it's like, oh, well, I'm just keeping you around for my pleasure or whatever. It, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Right? I don't know. It feels like it's a little bit forced. And, well... Maybe she ends up being this fellow fighter that fights against Nazoth with oh, us. We're even we forced go. to work with Azara and fix her mistakes. And maybe she, being this super powerful spellcaster, one yeah. of the most powerful mages, if not the most powerful mage in all of Azeroth, okay. maybe she's going to be the key to defeating Nazoth and we sort of have to work with her out of reluctance. That would be interesting. Now, in regards yeah, to I don't a know about that or a new like race coming to the game, it's very easy to say, oh, well, they're going to add a, a Void Romancer or something class, or they're going to add right. Void Tuscars as a new playable race. I don't think Blizzard is going to do that. I think that's a little too simple. Now, okay. something that I think would be interesting, and share your thoughts on this, guys. Let, let's hear it. Remember back in Hearthstone when the, no. the Knights of the Frozen Throne or whatever it was called expansion came out? No. And what they did is instead of adding the Death Knight class to Hearthstone, they just took all the previous classes and they made them more Death Knight-ish. Remember that? What if they did the exact same thing uh. in this World of Warcraft expansion? What if, for example, if you're a warrior through a quest line or whatever that relates to your class, you end up becoming more old godish? You're using void-touched weapons and you are empowered with void magic to become stronger, more powerful, and you sort of turn the weapon of the enemy against them. If you were a mage, for example... Okay, that's cool, right? That is cool. I think that there should be void-touched weapons, etc. Like, imagine this, okay? Let's, let's go ahead and talk about his idea here. What if they had a system where you were able to basically upgrade your armor... Instead of Titan forging, it would be like void forging or something like that in the next expansion. And after you killed enough mobs out in the open world, you'd get a reagent and you'd get like maybe one at a time from individuals and like 10,000 at a time from raid bosses. And, you know, if you had like 100,000 of them, you could upgrade your weapon by like plus five item levels or something like that. That would be fucking crazy. Uh, like, uh, like Azurite. Yes, basically. Well, there... I feel like Blizzard is pretty much always going to have some sort of a uh, of an upgrade item, right? Another system. Yeah, well, no, more farming. Well, if you don't like farming, you shouldn't play an MMO. I mean, really, like, the thing is, like, if you're going to criticize an upgrade system for things in the game, then, I, I mean, don't play an MMO. Play another game. Play, like, League or, like, Counter-Strike or something. Like, I, I'm sorry, but there are just certain fundamental things that have to do with the game, and I don't think that you should just write them off. Like, there should be farming in the game. That's a good thing. There's a lot of people that like to just fucking, like, veg the fuck out. Right? Just sit there, turn off their brain, and farm dumbass shit in a game. And that's what MMOs are so good for. Like, let's be real.
example, you would be conjuring ice from the void. Black fire would replace your standard fire spells and so on. The yeah. entire expansion, all the classes, it would be completely void themed and it would add a ton of new spells and abilities to the arsenal of the players, which is something Blizzard has said they want to do because they feel they've gone a little too far with the ability pruning. So this would be okay. a way to bring some more spells and abilities back to the player's hands. I don't know. The only downside to this, and I know you guys are probably going to say this, and I've thought about it too, is if you made every single class in the game very voidish, you know, turning the weapon of the enemy against them, you could have a lot of abilities looking very similar to one another. You know, a Shadow Bolt might end up looking very similar to a Mage's Black Fireball. Yeah, you know exactly. What I mean? I mean, that, that so would definitely it would be a be little an issue. tricky, but... I think with a bit of creativity and different uses of colors like purples, uh, really deep greens, blacks, deep, deep yeah, blues, yeah. and other void-like colors. I don't know about this idea, this could guys. could be pulled off, and it could be pulled off very, very well. But I don't know. Like, what do you guys think about that? But we got to talk about the most important thing, though. You okay. Know, come on, guys. Oh, like, it's about it's me. It's been this a long time coming, me. and a void Black Empire-themed expansion would be okay. the perfect time for it. The Bards. The world is ending, chaos is engulfing the world, the old god has returned, and freaking Cthulhu and tentacles are all over the place. What better time is there to just go to the inn, try to make merry, drink a beer, okay. sing a song, and watch as the world burns outside of the window. <laughs> so we get a bard profession added to the game. It's a strong contrast to the void theme of the expansion, a profession. but that's what would make it interesting. Uh, I kind of like this. The whole profession would be about using music to buff players, but not buffs like what you okay. might be thinking. Maybe a little bit, like, you know, plus 10 to your stamina, whatever. Yeah, but yeah. I like the idea of a bard profession being a fun profession. So, for example, you could listen to a bard playing fun. music and... Maybe you get a buff where you can jump higher for 10 minutes. You can jump like Fun? twice what? as high. Or you can run faster, even as a ghost. If you die, you keep this buff and you run faster, even as a spirit, so you can get back to your body faster. Ah. Your mount could be buffed to run faster. The food buffs that you get from eating could be buffed, in quotes, by a bard, so they ah. last twice as longer thanks to a new I don't effect know about called this, Merriment. Guys. You could get a basic morale boost sort of system going in where your character just gains an overall stat boost for a little while, so on and so forth. Oh. You could do something like this, right? Like a bard profession would be kind of interesting. I, I, I mean, if they do subclasses, for example, right? And you had, you know, like, let's say, uh, I don't know, like a, kind of like ascendancies in Path of Exile and WoW. I think that would be probably a better direction to take things in than to create a profession for being a bard. I don't really... I don't know. Does that make sense? Specs are subclasses? Yeah, maybe they are. I mean, but I'm like a subspec or something like that. I, it, it's hard really for me to think about it. But the point that I'm making is like making, making a bard a profession. I can't see a warlock being a bard. Right? I mean, like that doesn't really seem like it makes a lot of sense to me. And, uh, or even like a, a mage. It doesn't really seem like it would make sense as a mage. Uh, why not? Because they're fucking warlocks. They hate everyone. They're not trying to make anyone happy. The only people they're trying to make happy is the Burning Legion. No, fuck that. Uh, no, here's the thing, right? Is like the whole bard idea is cool. I like the idea of bards in the game. But I feel like if they want to make a bard class, they should build that into being a mistweaver or a, uh, a monk in general. Right? They should add bard-like abilities to monks because monks are the closest thing to bards that we have. And I would say they should basically just integrate that into it. And I don't know if that will ever happen, but that's what I would say should happen. Right? If anything. Wait, or rogue? Wait. Wait, is that... Why is that... Why is that question mark? I'm confused. Monks are not bards? Well, they're the closest thing that we have to bards. How are monks bards? The, the, well, they're jolly. They sing. They like to eat food. They drink beer. I mean, that's basically what bards do, too. I mean, I'm sorry. Like, am I the only person that's not drawing this obvious fucking conclusion that monks are the closest thing that we have to bards? They eat food. Well, no, they eat a. I mean, they eat a lot of fucking food. You see how fat the fucking pandas are? They're, they're, they're they eat a lot of food. Okay, like whenever you eat that much food, it does become an attribute. All righty, Th this is listen. All right, rogues are not bards. They're not. Okay. 
Overall, though, it's supposed to be a fun profession. It's a profession okay. where players can go to the various inns across Azeroth, especially for new players, and they can buff them and talk to people and, and just have a good time. Honestly, okay. the only reason why I really want a bard profession in World of Warcraft is because back in the day when I used to play Star Wars Galaxies, being an entertainer was one of my favorite things to do in the game. You just played music okay. and talked to people and buffed them, and that was it. Something else that I think would be really cool with a bard profession in WoW is you can level up the skill, you could learn to craft new instruments, or you could buy new instruments, okay. kind of like in Lord of the Rings Online, and you can even learn how to play new songs, custom songs well, if that's you want cool. to, yeah, using that's awesome. the numbers on your keyboard. And you could even teach players new dances. So, for example, a human male Wait, bard fuck? could teach a night elf player the human male dance, if that makes sense. Maybe That's you could awesome. even have different paths as a bard, where you could be a bard that plays a flute, a bard that plays the lyre, a guitar, a drum, or something. And you can even get together with your fellow players, kind of like in Lord of the Rings Online, and you can make bands and play music together. And, well, that would be really cool. Overall, though, guys, when it comes to the future of World of Warcraft, okay. I think it's pretty obvious we're going to get a Black Empire expansion. We're going to yeah. see a lot of Void. We're going to see a I lot mean, of I mean, how's temples. that not going to happen? We're going to see Queen Ajara come back full I mean, it's, force. It's, it's got to happen, It's just going to be a good time in the office fighting against the old god Nazoth. What is specifically going to happen in this expansion? I feel like this video was an fighting? advertisement for bards. What weapons are going to be used against Nazoth? What sort of new classes and races okay. and professions we're okay. going to see? That's up for discussion, but what do you want to see, guys? What do you want to see? Do you want to see a bard profession added to the game? That do would you be want cool. to see a new class added to the game? Like, just out of freaking nowhere, necromancers just are like, hey man, we're here to fight the old gods, so necromancers. I would fucking love to have a necromancer. Or even murlocs become the I new feel like that'd just be like a warlock they, thing. Though. They crawl out of the swamp and they're like, you know what? We're sick of this old god shit and we're going to kick his ass. And so they become the oh, new playable no, race that we can not play as. I don't race. know. Oh, no. Point is, what do you guys want to see from the future oh, of World of no. Warcraft? What do you want to see from this old god expansion that is Ooh, mostly boy. on okay. the horizon? I mean, let's be real. And um, please let's get a discussion no. going, guys. What do you think? What do you think? Either way, it's been Nixium here. And uh, I will see you guys with my next video. Yep. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Oh, okay, let's talk about bards. Now, if they have bards in the game, that'd be fine with me. I don't really care a whole lot. Uh, the plate was returned to its original time after the Cataclysm. Really? Is that right? Shadow pretty secretly working on a side of Nazoth. I support this void-themed expansion. Bard is, yeah, I mean, I don't know about this, man. I know I've seen enough. Wait, that's a quote from my video. I guess actually it's probably that's a little bit too abstract for it to be a quote from my video. But I remember I said this exact same thing at the end of uh, of Wad. It's a known saying, really? Is it? I I didn't know if I remember I said this in a video like kind of off the top of my head. Is it really? Sorry guys, I I don't actually watch a lot of hentai or go around in places where people talk about hentai. So I, I wasn't aware this was it. I remember I made a joke about this in like my video, like a prediction video for fucking like uh, the expansion after WAD. Uh, did he? I had no idea. Okay, never mind. Something sounds off about Nia's Uh Let's see. Here before Asmon Bald steals the free content for stream. Love your videos and stuff, Nixium. Okay, and somehow that is, as always, the top comment in every single one of these fucking things. Actually, no, it's not. Thank God. All right, that's great. Just a minute. We'll go ahead and we'll get something else. Uh, I told I'm from Japan, hey, most hentai doesn't even have tentacles. Yeah, I mean, not not all hentai, I guess, is created equal then. Uh, what do you think about Constellars as a new race? Uh, as Wait, Constellars is a new race such as Algalon, who are sent by the Pantheon to help fight back the Black Empire off of Azeroth. I like that idea a lot, actually. I really like that idea. Um, that being said, I don't know how you'd be able to like really view them. Would they just be like basically uh, like uh, I don't know constellation people? It's at ninety six percent. Is it really? Oh shit! It is at ninety six. Okay, good. Fuck yeah, we've got to do Mechagon really soon. Uh, Bellier has a new video. All right.